Hello guys, your local internet dumbass here again, and you might have noticed this is the first video I uploaded in a very long time. Like, what has it been, a month? Now we all know Minecraft, the 3D block game that has been memed to oblivion and had some of the best, such as Stampy Longnoses and Dan to the M series, and the worst content on YouTube, such as the new editions of Monster School that want to make me put bleach in my eyes. Now, another thing that has gained notoriety in the Minecraft community is a mod called the Create Mod, which is basically a mod that adds mechanics such as fluid transportation, trains, and synthesization of different metals such as brass, all using the wonderful world of machinery. Now, enough of this thing that I like to call a budget college lecture, let's move on to the goddamn mod. We've got just the basic YouTuber clickbait spinner like, ooh, I'm gonna win some money. <gasps> Because I've got this because I'm too broke to afford an actual one. So, let's see what I got or get. Great. I'm going to love this. This is my favorite thing to do every day. Not like I spend 40 minutes in another creative world building one of these. Guys, I've barely even started and I'm already sick and tired of this mod. You may be asking me, James, why does your train look like... Uh, if you gave a toddler a computer and told them to make a train in the create mod. Well, number one, I am not bothered to build a proper train, and number two, I'm going to spend most of my effort in the fluid system and not actually make it like some sort of junk you find in a dumpster on the side of an alleyway. Okay guys, I have made a very, very overcomplicatingly difficult machine, and for some reason, I don't know why, I decided to make it the most garbage way I literally can. So it's a little less complicated now, but it's still kind of complicated. So what happens is, this windmill spins, obviously, it turns the gear, this gear shift changes both directions to whether it takes the fluid or it uh, puts it back in. When you open this valve by holding right click, then it simply goes inside of this chamber. There we go, and once it is inside of the chamber, you can flick it, uh, when you're coming back from a different station, you can flick it, and we'll bring it over here eventually. Yep, there it is. So that is my basic, slightly basic input and output system. Okay, let's see what kind of hot garbage I'm going to get this time once I spin the wheel. It's not the worst one here, but it's definitely, uh, it's actually probably one of the easiest ones here. I just have to throw shit together until something at least functions without breaking immediately. Well, now that we are done with this station spawn thing, I am going to swiftly move on to my maximum power source. Now, I don't really know how to make this, but my strategy is I'm going to use a massively overdriven windmill to power a 256 speed controller. Now we are done with this machine technically since I got it to 256 RPM by placing it instead of 12, but I want to see if it will power a grinder, so I'm going to try that now. Ah, so it didn't work. I knew that was going to break eventually, but I'm going to try it, uh, fix this grave mistake. Uh, oh, it actually works. That, I was not expecting that. Let's see how fast it'll crush me. That is incredibly fast. But I guess we're done here, so let's move on to the next one. Now, for my sanity, this will be the last one, because I don't know if I can endure the other three if they're going to be painful or not. So let's have a gander. You know what, it's still a horrible one, but it's not the worst one in here. At least, it will just want to make me rip my own spine out of my back and beat me to death with it. Now, believe me guys, I am trying to make this better than the last spawn of Satan that I created. I know this still looks pretty bad, but I tried to add some detail to it, and hopefully I might be able to improve on it uh, while I build the other five carriages. Now, personally, I don't think a six-carriage train will actually be that bad. 
but I could be vastly wrong about that. And great, I just have to do this four more goddamn times. At least a bit of an update on the progress. This is going quite well, actually. I didn't expect uh, to get this to go quite well. I just have to do another three characters after this one, and then I am done. <laughs> And now all I have to do is design a uh, a carriage for the caboose and I will be back when I'm done that. And that should be the entire train done. Okay, let us try it out. Uh, hopefully it works and it's not a garbage failure like a loss of my contraptions, but let's test it out. It actually works. The six carriage train actually works. But that is the end of today's video the create mod experience some would call it and i shall see you guys in the next video and bye bye